Greetings, brothers and sisters. Um, so just a few little things to get to today. Uh, I just was working on my, I think, seventh video and hopefully the last one, uh, debunking Dodgy and the whole heartfulness debacle. A number of people have mentioned they were going to um, help me out by uh, helping me accumulate hours on the Gratefulness Meditation channel, which is really nice of you to say, but... So I've reached 4,000 hours. It's 4,800 hours on the channel as a whole, according to the analytics program. But a very nice bot I was chatting with <laughs> informed me it takes a week for them to make those views, um, you know, a part of the 4,000 hours. So I'm at 3,800 hours. So I noticed that I was... Uh, at that point, I was at 4,200 hours with the um, analytics program. And so I wrote to the bot saying, the analytics program says I'm over 4,000 hours, and you have me at three, you know, th three, 3,000, like 200 or something. You know, I was, they were shorting me by over 1,000 hours, whatever it was. And the bot said, this is how I knew it was a bot. Oh, that must be so frustrating for you. Well, I'll get right, you know. <laughs> I mean, it was all, I wish I could find the conversation because it's kind of funny. Because no human would say that. You know, it wasn't like I was that stressed by it, but, you know, I just wanted to ask. And he and the bot came back and said, well, it takes a week for these views to post. So now it's, you know, it's each day it's posting, um, you know, the previous weeks, whatever it is. So I think I'm two days away from the channel finally being monetized. And then I'll probably upload or I'll make public all four of the remaining videos. And that playlist will be, you know, it's more personal for me. When I go and do a sort of a takedown of something or somebody or whatever it is, this one's a little bit different because it's personal and I have more reliable inside information and just, you know, years of practice. So it's probably one of my best sort of like where I focus in on something even if you're not interested in heartfulness or spirituality or these things, it's pretty brutal, um, you know, because Dodgy's a fraud and all these things. So that's all going on. So it's just a matter of days, and then I'm going to release a ton of content. It's about eight hours of content there. I want to make those um, monetized videos because they're long, and I've spent time in them. And I want YouTube to get something out of the channel so it looks like it's a positive channel, that it's, you know, I want to be able to turn off the, the you know, the ads that are interrupting people when they do the meditation videos. That's the main reason for doing all that. Uh, but, you know, this channel has now this, what I consider epic content, at least for me, in terms of the, what I do here. Um, along with that, I feel like I've had a health uh, breakthrough. And, um, you know, it's a um, couple of things. So, I've had some irregular heartbeat since COVID, which happens less and less frequently. And then I also get chest pains that are usually around, you know, I get pain throughout my body. Like I'm always, as you get older, you just, um, you know, like it's, I was thinking the other day, you know, it's clear that I'm, uh, my body's breaking down, you know, I mean, more so than I've been aware of. But I've been feeling better and healthier because I've taken more of a, an interest in my health for, you know, since COVID, take a lot more supplements and, you know, trying to maintain whatever I have for as long as I have. But I was thinking about how, like, I know so many things now about life. And, you know, it's just like, I feel like I'm kind of a competent person for the first time and able to do a lot of things that I wasn't able to do when I was younger. You know, just being a dummy and doing stupid things. And then after all these experiences and then, you know, whatever I had from past lives and whatever I had, you know, accumulated, you just don't get it when you're a baby. Like there's that one guy, Yogananda, who I guess in his autobiography, when he was a little kid, like a, you know, toddler, he had some like adult thoughts. Like I had one when I was four, um, I remember my dad, you know, I, talk, I talked about this. We were walking around this pond in Hartford, Connecticut, this park called Elizabeth Park. Those people are familiar with Connecticut. It was a nice park. I went there 
a lot when I was a kid. And my dad and I were walking around, there was lily pads, and I thought one of the unopened lily pads was a frog, and I pointed out and said, frog, you know, like a four-year-old kid. My dad said, no, it's a lily pad, and we argued. And my dad said, go ahead and grab it. So he took my hand, and I leaned over, and he let go of my hand, and I fell into the pond. It was kind of disgusting water. You know, it was only four, you know, whatever. One of my first memories. And I looked up at him, he was laughing, and I was like, oh, he's an a-hole. And like, you're on your own, kid. Like, I had this, like, almost like adult voice saying, you know you're on your own like you got dopey parents and your dad's like a you know sucks and I just had this like moment you know that I had adult consciousness and awareness and that passed of course but I remember it you know but you have these things where you have stuff inside of you some scars and you know things you've accumulated from past lives and some of its wisdom and knowledge but you don't get it like automatically you have to work through it and eventually more and more of yourself your soul and your your, your accumulated knowledge descends into your so, into your body and your consciousness but by that time you're too old to use it because you know people used to live thousands of years and we're not designed to live these short lives like you know if you ever see the the first uh, Blade Runner movie the clones only lived four years because they were more powerful than humans and if they lived longer they take over the human race because you know they were superior so um, they had to have shortened lifespans and whatever's happened to us we have very short lifespans for the kind of consciousness we have so you know you don't you don't become mature and and whatever it is till your 40s and 50s and 60s you don't come up become a full adult but you're already you're already starting to die your body's you're already halfway there and then your body's just getting worse and worse so you know it's kind of a drag like I just realized you know, this is where I feel comfortable that I can make good decisions and, you know, all of it, right? And, but now I'm aware of like the, you know, the clock is ticking. So one of the problems human beings have, we don't mature into adults, like you don't really become an adult till later on in your life, like much later. It's not just because you're, you're physically, you know, adult size and you're no longer growing. It's because you're, you know, you've matured and it takes a while to do that. And, you know, raising kids and doing these things, you know, should happen much later in life. Like I'd be a much better parent now. I'm much better at working. I'm much better at everything, but I can't physically, you know, my stamina and things aren't there and, you know, just whatever it is. But that's, you know, that's because we have unnaturally short lives for the kind of consciousness that we have. But anyways, I have a breakthrough that has helped me exercise again. I've been kind of nervous about exercising and, you know, my chiropractor, was telling me that his wife's uh, friend's husband went in for you know 40 years old and I think their their fitness be like he's an athlete and a fitness person the chiropractor so I assume that you know this this um, this woman's husband went in for a stress test on his heart and he died which is kind of effed up because it's a place where they should be prepared for a heart issue they're testing the the uh, you know the health of your heart and there's always a chance your heart isn't healthy and it's going to cause a, a heart issue, like an attack or something. And it did, and he died. And I didn't, you know, get the questions, the big question that everyone wants to know, I'm sure, did he get the boop? But that's, you know, he even mentioned it. He goes, you know, you can't ask that, right? <laughs> because, it's, you know, the woman's got, you know, kids and stuff. I mean, it's a tragedy. Um, you know, but I've been worried about that myself because, you know, when I overexert myself it's like I shut down my body just like uh it's happened pre-covid and I didn't know if it had anything to do with my heart it was suggested to me it was the de de uh, dehydration other people had other you know ideas but my family and I me and my two kids is before I remarried we were at the Grand Canyon and we you know we were at the north face and there's a 14 mile hike and we marked we, wa we walked down two miles and we turned back up the hill and I just my body wouldn't do it and I was, you know, I didn't want to be like airlifted out or some, you know, I mean, you know, Jesus, you know, <laughs> you know, so, I mean, this is, I would say a good eight years ago or whatever it was, 2017 or something, 2017 or 18. So good, you know, seven, eight years ago. And I just was like, my God, what's happening to me? My body just won't, you know, I can't make it up the hill. I had to stop and rest. And, you know, I, I ran out of my water and all these things. And, you know, I'm just trying to, 
get up the hill and we're being passed by mules and like and tourists and you know and uh, you know I, I got up to the hill and I had a we had these sort of organic root beers we used to drink and that seemed to help me so I don't know if it's a blood sugar issue um, but I've had that ever since where I overexert myself and then I'll be laying in bed later or you know relaxing and my body just sort of shuts down or something like it's like not a good thing and I don't have much faith in the the, the healthcare system and so I've you know tried to be able to uh, in post COVID I couldn't do much physical work or you know I, I could only exert myself up to a certain extent and then you know I it wasn't like I'd be having a heart attack or something but it, was, it wasn't great you know there'd be some issues then that's that's bad because exercise is you know one of the things you need to do but I you know so again I'm not giving advice here because again I don't know how the thing's going to work for you I don't know if we have the same issues I'm just relaying information to you again not you know none of this should be considered medical advice or anything like this just things that I you know have done post-covid to to help recuperate and I've done all this research on it and I you know I want to have the ability to share it but you know this is not a medical any anything. I'm not an expert. I don't know what's right for you. So YouTube recommended some videos. I'm not sure exactly how this it was, it was like spontaneously happened where YouTube recommended videos on nit nitric oxide. I want to say nitrous, but nitric oxide. If I say nitrous, I mean ni nitric. 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 <laughs> um and apparently which i never knew anything about this but it is a molecule i guess in your body that helps with your you know uh it, i mean your heart needs it you you know gets oxygen and things to your blood is all these things vascular and it's really important and as you get older like all these other things vitamin d you see you know that you have a deficiency of it melatonin you know things like this that's why people have tr trouble sleeping and you know so i started to look into ways it gave different ways to increase the nitric oxide and i started doing that and i felt immediate boost like i took some supplements and you know i looked into some more things i guess eating pumpkin seeds pepitos and they're not like the big white pumpkin seeds they're like green we got some of those i really like them like i was craving them and that has a lot more than just nitric oxide boost it has all these other things it's good for a lot of things you can't eat them and not get them on the floor though <laughs> you know like i'm not i'm pretty sloppy as it is and it's like you can't eat them and not you know but i you know started eating beets and increasing these things but then you know there's some breathing exercise and things i do i'm not going to show you the videos or whatever you guys have to you know find your own pathway to this if you're interested in it uh, but there's these videos about breathing exercises and there's lots of videos about nitric oxide never heard of it never do anything about it you know but it's an you know things for older people and athletes do it you know to boost their performance and when i started to do it there's also one more thing i'm going to talk about is uh one of the videos recommended um these uh, uh tuning fork the sage 128 hertz tuning fork medical weighted tuning fork for 128 sonic slider tuning fork c28 tuning fork it's in a it has it puts the the note out of c but you really can't hear the tuning fork it's got these heavy weights at the end of it it's only 14 bucks this one's actually 13 bucks i thought it'd be priced really you know high or whatever but i started using them and, and i you know and I, and I had my wife do it too and we both well we were like oh it immediately helped us with headaches and things this one goes like through bone or something that's why it's weighted and like I said, it doesn't make much of a sound. Again, I'm not re recommending anything because like it says like people with uh, pace markers can't use it. But I really felt it helped with my nervous system and some of the heart issues that I was having. Again, I'm not having them that much, but, you know, I, I in fact, I haven't had really anything in a while. I had a little bit of chest pain, but it's usually on my, you know, left side and my ribs more than, you know, it's probably mu musculoskeletal. But I do have the the fatigue thing and the, the um you know the sometimes the heartbeat is er erratic or irregular uh, but i started using this thing and it wasn't just for the nitric oxide which it helped boost i guess humming as well which uh, my dogs are not a fan of but humming uh you know there's this you know quick nasal breathing that you do and 
stimulates the nasal passages and helps boost boost your nitric oxide i guess for if you were having like a flight or fight fight kind of situation uh, but my energy level just spiked and i was able to exercise you know do uh, get my heart rate up and then with no negative effects um, again limited time i've been doing this for a week but all these things that i've been doing you know some of it was stretching some of it breathing exercise some of it was dietary some of it was supplements um, again, all kinds of organic and or, herbal-based kind of thing for me is you know more subtle stuff. And the tuning fork, and like I said, I don't know if it's going to work for you. This is just me telling you what's going on with me. And I know people have had these issues, so, you know, I mean, people have, sh- have shared some things with me in comments, and I've tried. Some of them work, some of them haven't. You know, it's like it's a hit or miss thing. But for me, it's really, you know, helps me out. It's like boosted my energy level, and I'm feeling more confident be able to exert myself and exercise more you know i'd like to get back to being able to run you know i've, sh- I've shot some baskets uh, playing basketball and you know not in games and things but um i want to be able to you know do what i used to do at least on a, a, a you know less level and be able to to go out and exercise because that's always been a key to my health you know whenever i've been able to exercise i've been able to sweat out toxins and you know whatever i mean exercise is is important and you know not being able to do that has been kind of a bummer for me i always go for walks like we walk 10 miles a day and things you know but we walk between like three and 10 miles a day depending on the weather and other things but i always get outside and walk every day and then whatever physical activity and farming things so there's always i'm you know active um but you know like i said that you know that cardiovascular getting your heart rate up and things is something i've been aware of not you know not feeling totally comfortable doing which you know kind of sucks i mean i'm just turning 60 but as like my wife and i were saying we were luckily don't haven't had any of these major stroke cancer type of things right but you know as you just get older there's no avoiding it your body just doesn't work as well and you're you know you're painfully aware like i have to always worry about my back when i'm lifting things after you know all these things like you just have these um your body just doesn't work the same and it's it's a tragedy because I feel like I wasted my youth because I didn't know what I know now. Like I would totally budget my time and do things differently if I knew everything I know now when I was young, which happens to everybody, which is unfortunate, you know, because like I said, like I just feel like I got a handle on things, <laughs> you know, like, like, you know, fairly recently, the last five years, you know, and um, I don't know. You know, but it's just, that's the nature of our existence, I guess. You know, when you're a little, little kid, I mean, when you don't have language, like you're a toddler and you don't have memories from that time period, most people have very few memories from, once in a while people have like one memory from being a toddler or something. Your brain prunes all these different synapses and it removes things as you get older. You turn seven or eight and it basically rewrites all of the data you had from your younger years and you'll have a, you know, a handful of memories from your early childhood and because it's been you know updated and then of course memories change and things you know as you get older it's hard to I mean they get distorted and things and you don't remember them as clearly as you do and like you forget things for long periods of time and the data is stored in there somewhere but you know it can be um, I mean anything can happen to erase it and things you know just through your toxicity or your body or head injury or things or whatever the second master of the Saj Mark system had ether given to him as a you know for a surgery or some kind of medical uh application and um it uh, like was you know to knock him out or whatever and like he lost like lots of his memory <laughs> like it was just it paid dividends for him spiritually because he was able to you know just be more you know innocent and childlike but you know is what it is but as you get older you know your memories aren't there and like this you know idea that when you're young and you didn't have language or you're a toddler and you're you know you're a kid and then you have a situation that you're not ready to handle like there's times that kids become adults because their dad dies or something and it's like that information has to be given to a kid and it's not ready to you know process all that information right you have all this hidden talent and you know especially if you've had past lives and significant past lives and you have a lot of information experience that's available to you but it's not been you know uh, uh, uploaded to your system you know, it's not ready to it's it's there but it's not ready it's in like a a latent state 
And then you'll have experiences that pull that out. You become a parent, you get a job, you, you do these things, you know, you have these experiences. And then, you know, then you have memory of it. You have some, you, know, you have body, you know, memory and these things, right? You physically get, you know, able to do things that you couldn't do before because you train, you do all this stuff, you practice and you, you know, you, you know, you develop more and more skill in this area. And then you get wisdom and knowledge because you've gone through this stuff. And since you've gone through it before, you can draw from those experiences. And, you know, when you're young, you just don't, you're pretty much just overwhelmed all the time because you're doing things that you're not prepared to do, especially in our society, you're not trained and nothing has pulled that, you know, that potential out of you. And then you have these experiences that pull potential out of you. And then, you know, before you know it, you're old, like, and this is what's happened to me. And then you have a sense of, oh, wow, I have all this knowledge and experiences. And then you, you know, you do stuff like I'm doing here and you try to tell dopey young people who, you know, think that you're old and stupid and, you know, like, and they're like, you know, not listening to you, especially now in our modern day system. You try to tell your kids and, you know, all these things and they're like, no, you know, and they can't rush, they can't rush out to make their own mistakes and, 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 you know, create their own little nightmares for themselves before they realize you're right. And then they're old and they can't pass it on to the next generation. So F you. <laughs> it's a, it's a big old dick in you know, life is a, you know, like that where you're, um, you know, as soon as you're a competent person, you're, you know, you're ready to, you, you start, it's time to start preparing for death. So anyways, Merry fucking Christmas to you too. <laughs> Only spirituality will save this world. This is Paul Romano, definitely reporting from the apocalypse. Everyone have a blessed day and be grateful.